one of like the first people I met whenever I started to become manager. He's been here for a while before I even was. Um, he's a donation attendant. He's very sweet. He has always been welcoming to me from whenever I got in. Anyone that comes in, he's very welcoming to. He straightens up all the aisles. He puts totes of wares away. Um, he checks the back dock for donations. Carl has a lot of different jobs that he does here, actually. Um, most of the time we're putting wares out or pulling wares off the shelves, to pack up to send to another Goodwill. Um, a couple weeks ago, we did some clothes tagging. That was new. Yeah. I think you enjoyed that, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sometimes we decorate the mannequins, like we did all the ones up in the front windows. Sometimes we're putting out books or organizing shelves. We I mean, the next day, the shelf ain't straight. Yeah, but we just keep doing it, or, don't you know, we? So Carl works independently on the weekends. Um, I'm not here with him those days. Sunday, it was actually only him and Megan and one other person here, and they held the store together, so it must have gone well. Carl's wonderful. He, he was one of the first guys that brought me clothes when I worked down that way when I first came here. And uh, yeah, he's very helpful, especially on the weekends, whenever it's just me and him. On the weekends when we're short, he'll come over here and tag clothes. Um, he just recently started tagging clothes, but he doesn't have to do that. So it's very helpful whenever he just jumps in and does it. He's hilarious. He keeps everybody smiling. He's one of the sweetest people you'd ever want to meet. I, I just love him to pieces. He's, he's awesome. <laughs> Come to work. That's the funnest thing? <laughs> what about the funnest thing that we do here? Oh. Once you're at work. Go home? Go home. <laughs> do you like uh, organizing the toy shelves? Yeah. Yeah. Over there. We might play with them a little bit. You gotta make sure they work. It's a product and testing. And we gotta take, I don't know, they pass the thing now. You have to take the batteries out of the toys. Yep. If they had to batteries in. Carl's my number one at getting batteries out of toys. I like to pick on each other too. Find very interesting outfits for the other, like Carl's sequined pants over here. Hey, don't throw that. So we have a lot of fun. Uh, we try and make sure we're working while we're having fun. Yeah. But, you know, you don't want to have a boring work day where all you do is work, work, work. Victoria has fun with them keeps them working. And, uh, so what kind of things do you do in your personal time? Uh, search for puzzles and uh, puzzles. Well, Carl does a lot of stuff around the house. He, almost every week he's telling me how he's mowing the dog yard or uh, a couple weeks ago he helped his brother-in-law put in a window in the garage. Um, for fun, didn't you go up to the, where was that fairground, in Brookville? Brookville Fair. I mean, yeah. Jefferson County Fair. Just like, as Carl told me about his dog. <laughs> Mika was just here this morning. She gets pets from everybody who goes by the car. She demands them. She part pit bull and part boxer. Walk with her and play with her or throw the ball with her outside. I have met Mika. Um, that's his dog who he loves very, very much. He's, she's usually in the car with him every morning. We all go out, we pet her. She's part of our family too. Mika, yeah, she's a superstar in the parking lot. Yeah, he talks about her all the time. He teases me about my cats. Oh my gosh, I love <laughs> Mika. She's, she is so fun and she just loves people. 